uh, driver's side behind the front driver's side? We had a convoy of five SUVs, had a Ragen's new Red Chrome, the LX4, installed on antenna mass on all four vehicles. And we ran a series of tests, and we were able to get Red Chrome traffic. And by that I mean video, data, GPS information, text data, internet connectivity from this facility here at this mining world. Uh, over 14 miles uh, through the helicopter and through various uh, links to the breadcrumbs in the convoy. This is our militarized encoder, we call it the R300. Again, uh, we have this hooked up to the Regent mesh network here. Again, we're transmitting video over any analog camera. Uh, again, it's set for uh, 50 kilobits we can transmit video as low as seven kilobits uh, per second. The um, unit also supports audio, has built-in pan tilt zoom, so it will support many of the most common protocols that you'll have. Also has a built-in high resolution enhancement feature. Right. Move them apart, break them, break right. the connectivity, then have a the helicopter over top to bridge them and see how far with the helicopter we can get them out before we lose connectivity. Right. Up here, uh, what we have is a Regent Breadcrumb LX3, which is a three radio breadcrumb. It's running uh, 2.4 gigahertz, 900 megahertz, and 5.8 gigahertz and frequencies. And this is forming a mesh with other breadcrumbs we have in this town and on some vehicles um, to provide an umbrella of coverage that adapts as the uh, units themselves move around, as the vehicles move, and as clients move throughout the network. The yeah, breadcrumbs find each other wirelessly. When they receive a wireless signal from another breadcrumb, they perform a secure cryptographic handshake. And as devices move and as the radio environment changes, the routing protocol that we have inside the, the breadcrumbs will adapt to that and always choose the best route at that moment. This is one of our breadcrumb LX4s with a rather temporary installation here for this, this exercise. Uh, again, it's, this is running uh, three radio frequencies. The 900 megahertz radio, we have diversity antennas, which is why you see four antennas. And we have a, a GPS receiver, which is used to track the location of the vehicle in real time, in real time during the exercise. The settings we're using right now are configured for up to two miles between two vehicles, but we have five vehicles that can spread out. Right now we're configured to easily handle several miles end to end. One of the primary design goals of the technical mesh antenna was to have a coverage pattern similar to that of an 8 or 9 dBi omnidirectional stick style antenna while being able to maintain the low profile and ruggedness of the antenna. The antenna here is just mounted on a mag mount for this exercise, but the base of it is got mounting holes on the bottom to where it can be customized for any design, for any mounting application. Um, we have a, a ring mount that adapts it to a standard four and a half inch NATO mount, antenna mount. The radon colors can be customized to the specific application that they're going to. And it's a polycarbonate. Could you send me a message? Yes, let me send you a message right now, over. The helicopter is going to be used to bridge two disconnected portions of the mesh. Um, if the, we can have the convoy split in two, so there's maybe two lead vehicles and three trailing vehicles, either very far apart so that they can't connect to each other, or with a physical obstruction in between, maybe they're on different sides of a mountain. And when the helicopter comes into the picture, it will bridge the two networks uh, automatically and transparently. Car three, over. I'm gonna send you a message, Matt. Standing by. Three, two, one, send. 
Received. Three, two, one, seven. Received. Three, two, one, seven. Received. So what we're seeing is they sent all of these different overlay messages. And what we're trying to show is that not only can we shoot, send all of these messages at very quick intervals over the network, but we're also able to do this while we have streaming video going on between the platforms and amongst the mesh here. So it shows the durability of the mesh net, it shows the bandwidth of the mesh net, and the ability for all of us to share, in an open architecture sense, share this bandwidth that's used by these radios. So we can have multiple communications going on, multiple things going on at one time, all the way from the lowest level of a free text message all the way up to streaming video. So it just shows the extensibility of the system that we have put together here. Speed movement, yeah. Oh, yeah. We were only going 40 before for just because to keep the pace. Did you go? No, you don't have to go. Half mile, six miles, man. Yep. Stay time. So on previous runs, what we were showing was the fact that we're able to do all of these different mesh capabilities and uh, message capabilities while we're spread apart uh, about what a normal Conway would see, you know, uh, just maybe about 100 yards or so. Now in this case, what we're doing is we're doing about a half a mile split between each one of the vehicles in this convoy. Okay, Matt, let's start sending the message. We are standing by for any tests you would like to run. Over. I'm going to send you a message, Matt. Three, two, one, seven. Received. This is groundbreaking work. These initial tests that we're doing are already demonstrating capabilities that are, are much farther beyond what can exist currently is in the field right now. And the fact that we're still in the initial testing phase, so just the simple fact that we've gone this far beyond what currently exists and gone this far today is, is just simply amazing. And the capabilities we'll be able to show in the coming days are just gonna just far outweigh anything that's in the field right now and really, really enhance uh, the, the warfighter and the log, uh, logisticians that are out in the field today. All in all, the week, very successful. We had airborne testing of breadcrumbs. We got over 20 miles of range with an omnidirectional antenna. We tested the mobile convoy system, got 14, 15 miles of range and multi-miles of connectivity through multiple vehicles. So uh, all in all, from my perspective, the weekend was a wonderful success. Thank you.